The topic we're gonna handle today is multiple sclerosis, or also known as MS. So when you think of multiple sclerosis, I want you to have like an analogy of Little Red Riding Hood. Let's just say that this is grandma, Grandma's house, and this is the road, and Little Red Riding Hood is over here. So we all know the star of Little Red Riding Hood. That she has the the, the wolf is here. And Little Red Riding Hood is trying to go to Grandma's house. So for an, an analogy with the multiple sclerosis is that, let's say the damaging factor is the wolf. So while Little Red Riding Hood is going to Grandma's house, the wolf is here, meaning that she has a problem already. So meaning, Little Red Riding Hood cannot go to Grandma's house. So with that analogy, that is our multiple sclerosis. It is multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis is a disorder in which patches of the myelin and the underlying nerve fibers in the the eyes the brain and the spinal cord are damaged or destroyed so bye bye Multiple sclerosis refers to the many areas in which scarring is involved, which results to the demyelination of the nerves. So multiple sclerosis is a disorder in which the patches of the myelin and the underlining underlying nerve fibers are damaged. These fibers are found in the eyes, the brain, and the spinal cord. So what does MS or multiple sclerosis refer? It refers to the many areas of scarring that result from demyelination of the nerves. So who are actually affected of multiple sclerosis? This usually occurs to young adults with a peak of um, 20 to 40 years old. Which gender is actually more common? It's actually more common in females than in males. Uh, sa normal na individual, amon na siya ang neuron. So, this is the dendrites. Uh, nucleus. Then the cell body. Then myelin, myelin shift. and axon. So in kung a patient may siya multiple sclerosis, damage yung yung axon and myelin. 
In MS, when a person with genetic susceptibility is exposed to a viral agent, the immune system responds with activated myelin and reactive lymphocytes are known as molecular mimicry. This implicated virus in the process is under investigation. So there are viruses that have not been proven to trigger MS. The virus may retain in the body, which is um, which can result to an autoimmune process. The risk of MS may also be increased with vitamin D deficiency and smoking. Is the loss of the ability for a person to either move or feel anything. Tremors is an involuntary muscle contraction. For our golden standard is the Charcot's triad, which is which is um, describing some of the clinical signs of MS. So this is the description of MS, which is nystagmus. Intention tremors, and this arthia. However, these signs cannot be considered to be pathonom pathono. Morning. This triad is sometimes referred to as um, Charlotte's Triad 1, sometimes referred to as 1, or as um, Char Charcot's Neurologic Triad. So, um, in patient with multiple sclerosis, um, siya disordered ang iyang auto autoimmune response. Then, uh, genetic predisposition. And last, uh, Asia expo environmental exposure. Uh, Amon siya makaresolve sa my multiple sclerosis. There are four categories for MS. RRMS are also known as relapsing relapsing remitting
for the first category, relaxing, remitting is um, is the most common. This is usually 85% diagnosed and it is characterized by relapses with either full recovery or some retaining neurological signs and symptoms. There are periods between relapse characterized by lack of disease progression. For the patients, they may have a local inflammatory activity that is clinically absent or silent. So recap, um, RRMS, relapsing, remitting, multiple sclerosis, which is the most common type of MS, which is found on 85% of the patients. The relapse has uh, either full recovery or sometimes retaining neurological signs and symptoms. And um, residual defect on recovery. Periods between the relapse is characterized by the lack of progression and with stable patients there is a lack uh, there is a local inflammatory activity. These are only for stable patients. Category, it is called SPMS, which is secondary progressive. In this type of MS, majority of the patients with RRMS, which we tackled before, also known as relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis, when they go to this development, so from RRMS, you move up, or if you don't recover from RRMS, you go to secondary progressive. This one is characterized by initial relapsing remitting course which is followed by a progressive one so relapsing remitting to progression this also includes occasional relapse they, um, for secondary progressive, this results to a progressive axonal loss. So again, from RMS, which is our first category, it develops into secondary progressive MS which is um, characterized by initial relapsing remitting followed by a progression at a variable rate that may include occasional relapse. 
so Tori, which is PPMS, which is the rare type of MS. PP means primary progressive. Only 10% of this is a, only 10% of this affects people. The onset Oh, yeah. of, um, multiple sclerosis is characterized by disease progression from onset. Without um, with all plateaus or with occasional plateaus and temporary minor improvements. So with patients who have this may experience fluctuations. So the category for multiple sclerosis is PRMS. The PR means progressive relapsing. With this type of MS, it affects approximately 5% of the patients. It is characterized by a progressive disease from the onset without a clear acute relapse. So this may or may not have recovery. This is commonly seen in individuals that have this, ha, that has this disease at the age of 40. It is similar to PPMS but with a occasional acute attacks. So um, recap, PRMS is a progressive relapsing multiple sclerosis. Only 5% of these patients have this. It is a progressive disease without a clear or an acute relapse. They may or may not have recovery. And people who have this are, are in their 40s and it is similar to PPMS which as we said earlier, PPMS is a primary progressive multiple sclerosis, but with this one, there is an occasional acute attack. Go. Big symptoms of multiple sclerosis, number one, uh, lack of energy uh, headache um, depression
eggs and lambs. Uh, so this is the big symptoms of multiple sclerosis. Number one, lack of energy. Number two, headache. Number three, depression. Number four, uh, eggs in limbs. Signs and symptoms of multiple sclerosis. In sensory part, there is posterior column lesions. Posterior column lesions. Uh, Larmet signs. And the spinothalamic lesion. So in posterior column lesions, impaired of vibration and alarmed signs uh, with cervical posterior column involvement, sudden neck flexion will evoke a shock-like sensation in the limb. So in spinothalamic lesion, unpleasant feeling of burning coldness or warm uh, in motor part there is increase in tone hyper hyperactive tendon reflexes tendon reflexes And there is hyperactive um, plantar uh, extensor plantar. But absent in abdominal reflexes. Sometimes there is disturbance in the ocular movements. Such as myclopia, which may result from the demyelination affecting the brain stem pathway of cranial nerve three, four, and six. Nystalmus is unusual in multiple sclerosis when the eyes are in the primary position and commonly seen on lateral gaze. The pupillary abnormalities may occur from Sympathetic involvement in the brain, also known as Horner's syndrome. The cranial nerves that are affected in nystagmus are cranial nerves. Three and two. Aside from ocular movement, there is also a loss of vision. Um, vestibular symptoms.
which vertigo is present. Another one is ataxia. of gait and limb. This one is this one is <laughs> this is frequently present. So um attachment of gait may be um, cerebellar or sensory type others are mental changes Just mood change um, the um, depression may occur and cognitive impairment develops in advanced cases and generally fatigue is common. And there is also um, uncontrolled or outbursts of crying. Crying or laughter. sclerosis treatment for spasticity baclofen physiotherapy and splinting for pain Antidepressants, uh, insects, or non non steroidal autoimmune disease, and things for fatigue. Mudafinil and for depression antidepressants for three more beta blockers and for ataxia uh, walking aids and physiotherapy But I don't do too well with apologies I hope
Hope I don't run out of time, cause someone call a referee. Cause I just 